Hi, I'm Paul Haney, Editorial Director of Design World. Welcome to our third IFB conference video preview. With me on the line today is Clayton Fryer, a certified air specialist with the Department of Energy and a consultant to Applied Pneumatic Controls, a West Coast distributor that has developed the Oil Smoke Centralized Lubrication System. Clayton will be presenting a talk entitled Centralized Lubrication for Pneumatic Automation on Wednesday morning, March 23rd. So Clayton, tell us a little bit about why centralized lubrication is such a hot topic. Well, the, the nature of pneumatics in industrial automation has been for years moving in a direction of uh, non-lubed applications, non-lubricated applications, and unfortunately uh, a lot of uh, end users primarily are discovering that without any kind of lubrication going into their pneumatic automation, uh, they're seeing uh, what might be construed as catastrophic failures uh, with valves and cylinders and other components, uh, rotary actuators, air motors, because there is no lubrication. And then, uh, so the, the, the decision or, or the, the industry seems to be revisiting the concept of using lubrication. And once that decision is made, the type of equipment that is uh, being used, the type of machines and, and the components that go into those machines will help determine whether centralized lubrication makes a lot of sense. What will the focus of your talk be? More of a technical how-to, a review of applications? How will it be structured? Well, the uh, a significant part uh, is to try to convince people that there, are, there, there is a right and a wrong way to lubricate and what we have found is that uh, far too many customers, uh, at, at, again, this is the end user, uh, don't understand the, the ramifications of, of either no lubrication or inline lubricators, such as uh, companies like Parker, Norgren, Pneumatics, and others, uh, others built Watts. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that the, um, the uh, most machine builders, when they start talking about non-lubed systems, they say, well, all we have to do is take the lubricator out, and they don't do anything to clean the air up. And the consequence of that is almost as bad as having bad lubrication in because they're not uh, cleaning the air up enough to avoid intake uh, uh, contamination that's coming in through the intake of a compressor. And, and the result is that if you don't, if you're going to use no lubrication, you need to do some extra stages of filtration in order to protect the system longer, but it's still going to have the potential for failure uh, with the components because most component manufacturers say if you lubricate, uh, if you don't lubricate, we'll, we'll only get about 50% of the, the expected, uh, expected uh, life, life cycle capability of the components. Sounds like a presentation full of need-to-know information for engineers, Clayton. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time when we speak with Ken Rosenbecker of Energy Manufacturing Company and Mark Hoffman of Rota Engineering as we count down to IFP 2011.